This time next week, your refrigerator is probably going to be filled with Thanksgiving leftovers, and you will very soon need this information on which leftovers are safe to eat. All right, guys, hurry up. Let's get inside. Business owner and mom of two, Elise Shapiro, doesn't have time to cook every day. How's the salad? Do you like the dressing I put on it? Good. So she never lets her food go to waste. But just how long do those leftovers last? Once it's in the fridge, I don't always know if it's okay or not based off of looking at it or smelling it. I feel like sometimes you really don't know. Hey! hey how you doing? Pete DeLucia from the health department. Come on in. Inside All right, Edition great. had food safety expert Peter DeLucia help us put the leftovers in her fridge to the test. Guacamole, egg salad, steak, turkey, tuna salad, Caesar salad, and pizza. We took daily samples of each dish to see just how quickly bacteria starts to grow, even while refrigerated. Heart-stopping drama. First up, guacamole. After three days, it turned brown. You probably wouldn't want to eat this. Man, what do you think, ladies? <laughs> it looks like vomit. When you look at it, that doesn't pass the, the test, right? But honestly, the lab results right now, there's not a lot going on in it. It's going to make you sick. But on day three, the egg salad was the exact opposite. Tests show bacteria increased by a whopping 4,000%. A lot of spoilage bacteria going on in there, things that are starting to get a little funky. This is almost ready for the garbage after three days. Oh, <laughs> after a week, it was defying gravity. We're going to take a chance here, but she's just holding it. This Absolutely disgusting. By day three, our test also showed rapid bacteria growth for the tuna and Caesar salads. And on day three, start thinking about saying goodbye to that Thanksgiving turkey too. Tests show bacteria jumped a tremendous 3,000%. It is definitely slimy. Yeah. As for that juicy steak, by day five, it was still safe to cut into. But by day seven. That definitely looks slimy. Yeah, right it definitely that. does not look right. Any smell? Oh, yeah. Peter yeah, had some alarming news. E. coli, very, very scary. scary. That it could have sent any of us to the hospital. That's why it's so important to reheat all your meats, poultry, 165 degrees. On day seven, we found just one dish that was safe to eat. The girls guessed it right away. If you were going to eat something, what would you eat? I would eat the pizza. The pizza? The pizza? Pizza in general, when it's cooked, it's basically desiccated in the oven. And then there's the acidity of the sauce. So there's not a lot that's going to grow on this pizza. Regardless of the type of food, proper storage is crucial. If your food is left out at room temperature, otherwise known as the danger zone, for more than two hours, that food is not leftovers. That food is garbage. And most important, you need to know when it's time to let go. Don't keep them too long. No more than four days. Because at the end of the day, your health is at stake. And I'm definitely a big believer in when in doubt, throw it out. Sounds good to me. Another tip is to freeze leftovers soon after the meal. You might not know this, but Americans throw away $293 million worth of food every Thanksgiving, according to the Natural Resources Defense Council. Thank you.